What is up guys, this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Supergirl Season 3, Episode 7, titled Wake Up. I know I haven't done a trailer breakdown for Supergirl in a while, I don't think since Episode 3, but I, the reason is, is just because Supergirl isn't really a show I can break down every single episode, when there will be, every time that there's a trailer breakdown that, a trailer that I think it looks really interesting that I can break down, I will, but right now, I won't do it every episode, I will do it this episode and the episode after that, because, I mean, that's crossover, Episode 9 probably too, but, so basically only... Event episodes and episodes that have really, really interesting looking trailers like this one. But before the actual breakdown of the trailer, let's watch the trailer. The past couple of months when I dream, I see, I see Monel. God, it's unreal. It's incredible. You have to learn more about the ship Monel was on. Why did you wake up? How is he breathing? The losing has a change. Are they dangerous? You're different. Is it not you? It's me. They make me believe it. Supergirl, all new episode Monday at 8, 7 central on the CW. So this is what I've been waiting for. The Legion of Superheroes story finally begins, and Manel comes back to the past. He was in that chamber that we saw in in episode four, I think. So the faithful episode when that chamber thing, there was a guy in there, and then he put his hand on the screen. That was Manel, and Saturn Girl was with him. We could see Saturn Girl in the promotional fit up uh, pictures. I'm really excited for this. This is what this is the thing that I want to see the most from Supergirl season three. That's the Legion of Superheroes and Brainiac Five, and the rest of them are going to show up in episode ten, which the episode is titled Legion of Superheroes. So I'm really excited for that. But the thing, the question is, how can Monel be here because all all the lead is still in the air? How can he still like? How can he breathe here? I think it probably is that he was cured in the future. Like he went a thousand years in the future, and then he was cured. And he was probably there for a couple of years before coming back because he has a beard. And Sakara keeps on saying he's different. And he probably is different. He's probably not going to be as jokey as he was. He's probably going to be a lot more serious and comic book accurate. And that's, that's really exciting to me. He's going to become the superhero, Monel, Or maybe he's going to use the name Valor because he used that in the comics. We can see from the pods that there are four other people in those chambers. Probably members of the Legion of Superheroes. All we know now is that one of them is Saturn Girl. The other three, that is a whole nother story because no other suit Legion Superhero has been casted other than Brainiac 5, but he was casted like a week ago, and this episode was filmed a couple, like two months ago, so there's no way one of those guys is Brainiac 5, so honestly I have no idea. They would have casted them, they would have announced the casting if any of those guys were big Legion Superheroes members, so really, I honestly have no idea. Maybe Supergirl actually casted the rest of Legion Superheroes and kept it secret, like Lightning Lad and Cosmic Boy. Maybe those are the other guys over there in those pods, like Lightning Lad, Cosmic Boy, and Brainiac 5. Maybe those are the other three guys in those pods, and they kept the casting a secret, or maybe they stay in the pods for a while, and for some reason the DEO and Supergirl can't open the pods. Maybe that's what happened, it's so that they didn't have to cast them until later. That's probably what's going to happen, is that they, they couldn't open the pods, and then in like episode 10, which is called Legion of Superheroes, the pods open, and then Lightning Light, Cosmic Boy, and probably Brainiac 5 come out and do stuff. I don't know what they're going to do, but they're going to do stuff, and you know, that's my prediction. So when mon wakes up, he sneaks around, takes out a guard, and tries to steal something from the DEO, but then gets captured. So I think this, this is something where Legion of Superheroes sent him back from the past, or, I mean, from the future, and sent him to get something for the DEO. I'm not sure what he's going to get, but it's probably something that the Legion of Superheroes needs to save their time or something in the thousand years in the future where they're in trouble. Maybe they're, like, the, the Furious Five took over, and they need one single item that the DEO have to, to save them. Maybe that's what's going on. That's probably what's going on, that Legion of Superheroes should send Monel back, and those other four guys on a mission to do something to maybe even change the future but those five guys or the five guys or four guys it was brainiac five cosmic boy lightning lad saturn girl and monel yeah five guys which i think that's that's an awesome team those five but those five guys were sent back in time to maybe either change the future or get something to protect the future because that, that, they do that in the comics all the time legion superheroes do that in the comics all the time i even own one comic where they did that it's called the Lightning Saga, where they go back in time and change something in the past so that the future can thrive. But anyway, this trailer looks really cool. The music in the background is awesome. 
and I don't know, I don't, I don't know why it has so many dislikes on, like, it has 1,200 likes, but 300 dislikes, I don't know why that is, maybe it's because a lot of people don't like mon but I really do, I think he's one of the best characters on Supergirl, but anyway, I thought this trailer was really well made, the music in the background makes it so much better, it's like the Flash trailer that we had before the seasons came out, the Hero Reborn with the awesome music in the background, this trailer is just like that, the, the awesome music in the background makes it like 10 times better. So let me know what you thought about the trailer in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.